I went ahead and wrote a few blog posts here. As you can see, the site is coming together very nicely, except I think we can do better. The Generate Press theme is highly customizable, and that's what we're going to look at in this video today. First, right off the bat, I want to get rid of most of this stuff on the sidebar. It's just nonsense. Let's go ahead and do that right away. If you go into Appearance and Widgets, you'll see the right sidebar, all the little widgets inside of there. Um, let's get rid of Search. Recent comments, archives, and categories. That just leaves recent posts here. So if we go back to our dashboard and preview the site, you'll see that all those widgets went away. All right, off to a great start. The rest of our customization will primarily take place in Appearance Customize. You can also click this button out here, Customize Your Site. Now the first thing I want to work on here is instead of having a list of all these most recent posts, I would want to have a grid with just the image and the title. None of this extra metadata information, maybe like three by three grid. So let's go ahead and set that up. Over here under the layout and under the blog option, we want to get rid of this excerpt. So instead of having a 55 excerpt word count, change that to zero. And let's get rid of that read more label. Let's also uncheck all of these check boxes here so we're not displaying any of that metadata. Okay, that's looking good. Now this is just a personal preference, but I'm gonna put the image above the title and you'll see that change reflect immediately. And like I was talking about earlier, let's get these posts into columns. So we got a two by two grid. Um, how about we make that a three by three grid? And unfortunately we only have um, four posts so far, so we only see three on the top and one in the middle row right here. One thing I want to do is change the layout of these containers, which is what they're called. So we're going to go ahead and go back up into our main container layout here. And um, let's just first of all make the containers a little bit bigger. And let's get rid of some of the spacing in between each container. Looking better already. Uh, I like to change the padding here from 40 to 30 and on the bottom a zero. All right, very good. Now you'll see that the color around the edge here is a darker gray. The middle is a white. I would like that all to blend together. So if we back out again, go to colors, the body color, instead of that light gray color, let's make it a pure white. And that just, like I said, blends everything together. Now you'll see that there's actually a pretty big gap in between the title and the post image, so um, we can fix that. The only way I figured out how to fix that is to add some additional CSS here, and that's just going to be a zero padded margin at the bottom. So uh, you'll see once you apply that CSS, it's three lines, but this right here is one line. So it's margin bottom colon space zero exclamation point important semicolon, and that'll do the trick for that. So it's looking pretty good so far. Let's back on out again, and this time let's take care of the header. So right now we have our title and our tagline. We can do that with a site identity. Um, actually, what we're going to do is get rid of this text at the top of our website and replace it with a logo. So earlier I went ahead and uploaded a logo called Serial Guru to my media library. It's just simple drag and drop. I made it in Canva. It's canva.com. Super easy. I recommend it. I'll have a link down below in the description if you want to use that online free software. So um, Serial Guru, let's upload that. We don't have to crop it, so we'll skip the cropping. And there it is. Now you'll see that there's a bunch of white space around it, which is okay, but let's make it black space. So we can go back into the colors and the header, and instead of a white background for that, drag it down here to black background, and it blends together very nicely. Now a couple of these following tweaks are just minor tweaks, again, personal preferences for me, but I like to share them with you. So as far as the topography is concerned, we'll go into there and do the body. And um, just again, small changes, change the font size from a 17 to an 18 and do the line height from 1.5 to 1.6. It's just a little bit more spread out, a little bit bigger. And we can do a similar thing with the primary navigation. Um, again, just bump it up one pixel that changes this menu item slightly. And I always like to have my menu items all uppercase. It just gives it a little bit more of a pop. Now, if we go into the topography for the headings, click on a blog post here. We can do a couple more tweaks here. Right here, we'll change it from a 300 to a 400 
font weight. And another thing you'll notice here is that there's a featured image above the post itself and I have already embedded a featured image in the post. The reason for that is SEO purposes and without getting into it too quickly, we'll do that in a later video, but the first item you want in your blog post is text. You don't want to start off with an image, so that's why we wanna get rid of this top image right here. And we can do that by going back out into the layout of our blog. And this is where it's kind of confusing. So you see that archives are initially selected up here. Well, that was for when we were working on the home page that was selected by default. But if we're talking about a single post, that's what that's going to affect. So um, you'll see here if we toggle post date, that date right here is going to go away. But we actually want to keep that. That was just for demonstration purposes. Um, we'll keep all these other things. Actually, we'll get rid of post navigation down here, which is uh, the previous blog post that was written was that. But we're going to get rid of that. Um, Anyway, back to the point of coming in here, we wanna get rid of this featured image at the top. So again, archives is selected, but we wanna to go to post. We do not wanna display the featured image. So we'll get rid of that. And there you go. We start out, like I said, for the SEO purposes, we start out with the title right away, some metadata, and then go right into the blog post. That looks pretty good. Okay, a couple more tweaks here. Let's go back into the layout and change the header this time. We're just going to change this from a 40 to a 10 on the top and the bottom of the headers just to get rid of some extra space. Um, while we're in the layout, let's take care of the sidebar. The only change we're going to make here is to change the widget padding from 40 to 25 all around so that way the sidebar itself is a little bit thicker. And then let's go back out and take care of the layout for the footer. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you'll see a footer here. And we really don't want this powered by generate press link in the bottom of our footer. So let's take care of that. By default, copyright is blank, but if you type in percent current underscore year percent space percent copy percent space and then the name of your site, you'll get rid of that whole powered by um, generate press thing. So that looks much better right away. Now there's a couple more things that we wanna tweak. Back here on the home page, if we click on a blog post, you'll see that there is the date in the URL of the post. That is not good SEO practice. We want something that looks like this without the date in the title. Also down below here, you'll see that the post author is Tony, just four letters lowercase. We can change that, we can make it the serial guru. So if we go back out into our WordPress admin panel, go under settings and permalinks. We don't want the day and the post name in the permalink, we just want the post name. So we'll go ahead and click on that radio button there, hit save changes. And to change the author's name, we want to go up here in the right hand corner where it says howdy and scroll down a little bit. You wanna fill out your first name, your last name, the required nickname, I'm gonna pick the serial guru and then display name publicly as the serial guru. So we'll go ahead and update that profile. Once those changes take place, we'll go back to our main website, refresh it, go back into our blog post, and you'll see right away that the URL of the blog post looks better, and we have the author as the serial guru. Okay, so that's about it for this video. Everything looks much better than it did when we started. We have a nice grid of our most recent posts on the front page, and our blog post itself looks really nice with the title at the top and the text right after that. So thanks for watching, guys. Please stick around for the next video. I'll see you there.